This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Go Rafton Apple Festival's great. It's the last September Sunday date. I, I gotta get in. Gotta have your name at least. Local government center. I am. Yes. Um, what is all the fuss about right now? I mean, I understand that the the hearing is going uh, going on. I'd be happy to talk to you maybe afterwards. All right. Thanks much. Could I have your name? Yeah, I'm Karen Leo Hill. Ms. Hill, thanks much. And who are you? If I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Who are <laughs> it's you? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Okay. You're not gonna let me go until you know, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. See you. So this is a guy from LGC. I guess gonna testify representing LGC. Are you with the local government center? Right? No, no. Oh, who are you with, if I might ask? A professional therapist. Oh, okay, thanks. So one of the frustrating things about the whole business in there is how convoluted everyone's status is. You saw how this first guy was going up there to testify. I think he's with local government center, but then he says he's with, what, health trust? What's that? And he's city manager of Laconia, I think. I mean, it's just so complicated. Um, and all these corporate people in there. How, how exactly am I supposed to know what to ask these corporate people, right? I once had a um, mentor of sorts uh, from a big market TV station, and he used to say, uh, you know, I've got all these reporters who will, um, they will jump down any senator's throat, leap over every representative with a tall bound, but cower at the feet of a banker. <laughs> so I, I feel the same way because I, I don't know what to ask those folks. What are they guilty of exactly? Who knows? I mean, are they receiving tax dollars? I guess that's the question I should ask them. I'll have to ask them that. But, but I, I guess they're all connected in some way with local government center and are some of them feeding at the government trough? Are others just there to kind of look out for their interests to make sure the law doesn't change to prohibit them from doing certain kinds of business? I don't know. I'll try to find out. Also, another frustrating thing that happens in there, again, there's somebody in there who's who's against the local government center, so that should make them an ally of any libertarian type, right? But when I ask him to, when I ask him to summarize what's going on, he doesn't want to be recorded, and uh, he tells me to go read this 82-page report. Uh-uh, no, no can do, not got that. <laughs> do, do, well, maybe I do look like a 9-11 truther, but I'm not a 9-11 truther. I'm not into conspiracies and research and trying to find out stuff that, that no one else knows and then share it with the public and then no one believes me. And uh, Let's just, I'll focus on what I know. Or rather, ask. Did you know that the Grafton Apple Festival is now on the same day every year? It runs basically all afternoon, the last Saturday in September. There may be a bizarre vehicle race this year. 
and you can make some cider with their antique uh, cider thing. In any case, it's your chance to experience the freest town in the freest state. Grafton Apple Festival's great. It's the last September Sunday date.